It's Danny Starr. Let me start off by saying that this week in Hollywood was literally an entertainment reporter's dream. So many stories, so little time, so let's get straight to it. Let's take a look back on what happened this week in Hollywood. Britney Spears turned 29 this week, but not without a little bit of drama. Allegations came out early in the week that she was actually a victim of abuse and in an abusive relationship. Britney and her camp was not having it. She took to Twitter to make an announcement saying, first of all, listen up. Absolutely not true. And you know what? Even though it's my birthday, I got a present my fans. She announced that although she's been working on her album tirelessly, it will be out in March. We cannot wait for Britney's album and we are so glad that the rumors were just that. Rumors. Happy birthday, Britney. Finally, we all know that Mariah Carey is pregnant. She made that big announcement on Ellen. But this week, it looks like Mariah Carey may have slipped up. While promoting her new Christmas album, Mariah Carey, referring to her baby, said, I really hope they don't hate Christmas. There's a problem with that statement. You see, one does not refer to they. You can't say they when you're referring to one. Mariah Carey is definitely having more than one baby. Twins, triplets, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Congrats, Mariah and Nick Cannon. Perverts all over the world rejoiced when alleged naked photos of Miley Cyrus popped up on the internet. Perverts were also extremely disappointed when those photos turned out to be just a Miley Cyrus look-alike. Here's the deal. Miley Cyrus is officially 18, so if she wants to show off her goods, more power to her. But it is pretty funny that the perverts were super disappointed. World AIDS Day happened this week in Hollywood, and celebrities stepped up big time, even dying for the cause. Not literally, of course. They did a digital death, meaning that they banned themselves from all social networking. Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Elijah Wood, Serena Williams, Alicia Keys, and Swiss Beats all died digital deaths. They said that they will not be back on Twitter and they would not be back on Facebook until millions were raised for AIDS awareness. Now this is definitely a good look for celebrities. All right, let's talk Hollywood relationship news. Rihanna took to Twitter to say that she does not want to speak about Chris Brown anymore. She said, obviously, nobody wants to relive that. And I agree with her. She says she would stop talking about it if everyone would stop asking. So people, stop asking Rihanna. She doesn't want to talk Chris Brown. Now here's another one for you. Christina Aguilera's been spending a lot of time with her new boyfriend, Matthew Rutler, even going home for the holidays. Yep, she spent Thanksgiving with him and his family. Here's where it gets a little sketchy. Christina Aguilera is not yet divorced, and she met Matthew Rutler while he was a production assistant on her movie Burlesque, what she filmed while she was still married. Okay, somebody saying Christina Aguilera's a little dirty girl? She just might be. I cannot wait till all the details come out on this one. I'm Danny Star, and literally I just scratched the surface. So many more stories and they're only a click away. www.bittenandbound.com showing you the not so pretty side of Hollywood.